all right so we're back working on the Yamaha Badger I know it's been a while since you've seen this thing this has been tucked back in the corner but I was actually waiting on some parts for it uh, we got the carburetor finally came in it's one of those aftermarket jobs I was waiting on this piece from Yamaha I had to order it straight from the dealership it was on back order it's this little gasket spacer that actually goes between the carburetor and the intake the original one was uh, cracked and disintegrated so ordered a new one we got the new battery for it and new fuel filter so now the problem is I went to drain the oil and I only got like a teaspoon of it and it was some water mixed in so it didn't have really no oil in it so what I did I filled it up with some this parts cleaner stuff that goes in like your parts cleaner and I'm just letting it soak in there a little bit as you can see in there it's kind of dark but it looks all gummy fired in there so I'm gonna turn the key on and uh, spin it over and let that stuff just kind of mix up in there so that way we can flush it out whatever that is hopefully this thing has got compression uh, the last time I messed with it we did have spark so we know that and I think uh, I just got to set up here somewhere I don't know what's going on oh bear with me Alright, sorry about that. Uh, last time we made a uh, key switch for it. I mean a key to fit the switch. And got the ignition to turn on and all that good stuff. So, let's see if we can get this thing to turn over. Seemed like it had a problem with the start button. Got to kind of press in it hard. been sitting for a while. She might not she might not do anything. I had put some um, oil or something in the cylinder to free up the rings so it blew that out so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this uh, parts cleaner stuff out it's been soaking for about 30 minutes or so Just dry up, so it's 
gotta have either a burning oil problem or I didn't see any oil leaks, so it's either gonna be burning and using oil. You might be able to uh, hook a gas bottle to it and get it to fire up. But I already know it's probably going to smoke like a crop duster. So I'm going to go ahead and get the carburetor ready. Get what we need to put it on. I'm going to go get some oil. Put the fresh oil in it. And uh, we'll see if we do something with it. So I went ahead and disassembled the start button. Uh, kill switch assembly. And... I took the little start button out and cleaned this little contact tip here. So we're going to put the uh, button back in. This is a real tedious job. We'll see if we can get it back together here. It has this little spring. I think it went like that. It had a lot of corrosion up inside of there. You have to push in on the button really, really hard to get it to turn over. Hoping, I think it actually goes the other way. Why they make stuff so small? Bear with me. This thing is not easy to put back together. Came apart easy. I got it. So that just basically snaps in there and then you push down on the button. Let's see what it turned over since I cleaned it. Nope. I think it's something wrong with the little contact tip. There we go. I think we got it. I guess I had to rub it a little bit. Now we need to put it. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. It's hard to work. Down in there. Now I just got to get the little start button back in there. Oop. And there's a screw. Hopefully it still works after I put all this back together. Yeah. This is where the little red 
on and off button slides. So we need to put it back in. Just think about the people who have to sit around and put this stuff together. I don't think they got a robot that does it. So that's the uh, I better not do that. Better wait till I put the cover back on before I try and slide it. Don't make any more problems breaking it or something. So that basically goes in. Put our screw in there. Should be on right there. Let's see, does it still work? Oh, yeah. Then, if you hit off, <laughs> it's still, still, I think off is in the middle. Houston, we might have a problem. That should be off there. For some reason it's not cutting off. I think the little there's like a little contact tab where the wire goes. I think it's corroded off of it. Would be nice if that works. Or I don't have it in there. I think I don't have it in there far enough. Kind of wopsided. It has those three little tabs right there. When that thing slides, it makes contact. Some reason it's not sitting right. Well, my battery is fixing down the camera, so uh, I guess you can basically see how it goes back together. We just had it together. We just had to put it on the handlebars. So I'm gonna let the battery charge up, and then we'll put it back on the handlebars. So I played around with this little red button, and. Uh, Something in, inside of it is, or somewhere down inside the harness, there's a ground wire not connected because I can switch it either way and it still turns over. So we'll have to chase that down. I mean, you can cut it off at the key, but for a kid, you really want them to reach up here and hit that off switch. So what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, just let it be for right now. Um, 
like I say, as long as it works right now, I'm happy with it just so we can get it running. But at least it does turn over with the start button. So that is good. So we'll get some gas, we'll get the carburetor on. I just put some oil in it and uh, we will uh, try and fire this thing up. Okay, so we're down to the grand finale. Uh, I got the carburetor on. I got the new battery in, even though it's the wrong battery, it's too small. I'll show that later. Uh, got the gas bottle hooked up, we got oil in it. Uh, so let's pour some gas in it. Hopefully, this thing will run. I know nothing about it other than it had been sitting in the woods for years and I was told it ran before it set up. So we've got the choke on, got some little spray juice. I'm thinking it's got to be choke on. Key on. Okay, here we go. Man, she spins up fast. Start to cool off right fast, and uh, I'm gonna check the valve clearance and see. It just sounds like there's no compression at all, unless the rings are stuck on it. And we got the wrong battery, which is too little. <laughs> Didn't notice that. So let's let the starter cool, and I'm gonna check the valve clearance. So in order to get to the Valves adjustment. You gotta pull the intake off on this side. Just 
actually that cap is right up under it. I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but it's got some liquid sitting in there. You probably can see as I'm shaking it. It's actually the valve. Let's see what happens when we spin it over. The valve. I don't even think the valves is even moving. Might have broke the tank. Something's not moving. It spins over super fast. Now we should be able to see. See the valve tap it right here. See it doesn't move. Oh no. It's not even it's not even turning the valve. Look at that. Something ain't right. Either we got some bad cam or bad uh, lifter shaft or lifter. I can see the cam turning. But it ain't hitting nothing. The lifter just sitting here. So, you know what that means? That means that uh, that means that the head's gonna have to come off. It had compression when I first spun it over a couple weeks ago, and I put the plug in it, and uh, I guess something let loose. But all the gas is sitting on top of the valve. So, I think we can get by. This is a one piece head. Well, it has the uh, camshaft on the other side, but that won't do anything. We can just see the timing chain. Well, actually, we can see if the timing chain's even turning, but I can see the uh, camshaft turning. So that means that the camshaft is still connected to the chain. So it's got to be something with these rockers. Unless it's got a broke rocker shaft, as I was saying, and it's not running along the cam. see something jumping around in there. I think we're just going to have to pull the head off of it. We're going to have to pull the head off and see what's going on in there. So let me get some tools and stuff and uh, get some things out the way and we'll take that off. So I just removed the exhaust. Get it out of the way. Since we got a Pull the head off. Man, this thing's full of water. 
So we got the watery pipe out the way. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this cover off so we can see the timing chain. I don't remember on these. I think you have to pull the whole side of the engine off this cover right here to get to the tensioner. Oh, those are tight. Probably gonna have to have an impact driver and I broke, broke the bit on it. Just gotta get a bigger scoop out of it. Get the vice grips. <laughs> that one's about stripped. There we go. chain is uh, still connected. step would be um, like I said I think on these you have to pull this whole cover off because the tensioner I think is behind the magneto but then it, we're going to take the head off I'm thinking just to zip that nut loose I mean it can't hurt anything because the, the valves is not uh, the, the lifters are not touching the valves and we'll tie some on the chain so it won't fall back down in there I guess being that I don't have a 
think you have to hold this can with something. Let's see if we can get something. Else. I mean, I can always fix the chain out of it. Chain does, does fall in there. There we go. Exactly what it went down with that lifter. What's going on with my light today? Chain. So the cam is turning. It ain't. It's like something is something is locking. That should be. I bet you the piece of the lifters broke off in there and it's hitting the cam. So I'll tie a little piece of string on that anyway. We'll get these, uh, all these nuts right here loose and um, we'll pull the head off of there. And see what we got. Not touching that cam, which it should be. Probably good with that. All right, let's get these eight millimeters and tens off.
see, we got some tins right here. what that is. Oh, that might be the time to change tension right there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It looks like it might be. I'm not too familiar with these. I ain't gonna lie. I don't have the manual, so. Let's see if that head's even loose. Yeah. Yeah, that's the time and chain tensioner. So I'm thinking, oh, there we go. That was just the washers. I think that's the time and chain guide. You got parts falling out everywhere. Yeah, that's the guide. That's all that is. Oh. 
and get the head out. Everything's all wrapped up over there. Looks like one of the valves is open. Things he had so much water pouring out of it. Let's get the head up on the table and take a look at it. But before we do that, I wonder how the piston looks. Dude, that cylinder's got some bad spots in it. Looks like. See that? Right here. This has some corrosion. I think it's just corrosion, it looks like. Well, let's look at the head anyway. So I went ahead and pulled the cylinder off. And it's got some very bad rough spots up in it. Right up in here. I thought that was corrosion, but it's actually with a metal. I don't know if you can see that up in there. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the cylinder wall is it's a uh, kind of ate up right there so something went down it or it might have got too hot we got the head and this valve is stuck open so in order to get the rocker shaft out of there it's got two pins down in these holes right here that the rocker shaft is on. I can spin the cam. It's definitely hitting something. I think it's just hitting the exhaust valve. But we have to get these pins out and I don't know if you can tap on it and they come out or Look like they're pressed in. They might be a special special way they come out. Hmm. There's no other way unless well, you can't get to it no other way. They're pressed in there. But something has got to go in there and grab them, I guess, and pull them out so you can get the rockers out. I'm to do some research on that. Cause surely there's no holes on this side. And if you want to change the cam, cam should just really pull up out of there. But that's probably the other. Let's let's get that cap off there. Maybe we can look through the cam hole. Woo, that's tight. I'm gonna have to get the impact. Like 
put in the vise or not. Don't want to mess nothing up. Pack on. I don't want to mess up the surface of that. Yes. Now we're down to the nitty gritty. Oh, I see a broken piece. It looks like just as I thought. That's the back part of the rocker. It just sheared right off. So I guess you can see now the valve is closed. So it was holding the exhaust valve open. It, it opened it and then sheared right off of there. Now we just need to get this camshaft out, which is a lot of something is steel. Something has got to that cam should pull out of there. Something has got it locked. There's not a clip or nothing there. Because this valve here, the intake valve moves, but over here, the exhaust valve, it won't move at all now. Something's got that camshaft completely that rocker's locked up. That's probably what happened. The exhaust uh, rocker locked up and when the cam came around smacked it. Let's just take all the slack out of it. Take the tap it out. And move now. That camshaft should come up out of there. I don't know. What is holding it? I 
thing probably is going to end up needing a head too. I don't know on that one. I'll keep filling with it, see can I get the camshaft out, but I think these pins are pressed in there for the rocker shafts. And you can't press them out because there's no way to get to the other side. So it's probably going to end up needing a head too. That valve's got some pitting in it. So it's going to need a head and the top end set. Ring piston, I will go with. Put a second there. Hitting the exhaust over here. Feel some resistance, but that sucker will not come out of there. You have to use a slide hammer or something. Being that the rocker. Must got a bad cam. Well, it's hitting the. Yeah, it's hitting the uh, exhaust valve. I think all this is pressed in there. Oh well, we'll see what he wants to do. If he wants to get all those parts and build it, I mean, you probably can buy a whole four wheeler cheaper than building this thing. We'll just see how bad he wants to fix it and then I'll get back with you guys on it. So I looked online and it is a special tool you have to use to pull the rocker shafts out and the camshaft and I have a bearing puller tool you can pull the races out and a blind hole bearing and it comes with these little studs that uh, screw into it and it's the same thread so basically inside of those little uh, rocker shafts they're threaded and uh, I seen the guy on the old youtuber he actually used a long boat and he put a big socket on it and used it as a slat, a sledge uh, slide hammer but being that I have one Now he had to heat his up. My old vice then took a crap. We might have to heat these up. coming out. Whoa. 
like it's coming out of there but my whole vice is turning the vice has seen better days word of vice do not get a Vice from Harbor Freight because this thing didn't last no time. coming out of there. Yes sir, it is. Slowly but surely. Ah, there it is. Rocker shaft number one is out. This is actually the exhaust one. So I guess you can't pull it all the way out till you get the cam out of there. Well, here it comes. There it is. So this is the exhaust rocker that's the one that's not broke so we might be able to salvage this head I wasn't for sure but I'm gonna have to take it to the motorcycle shop and let them press it out of there or just made in the head So now we need to get the broke one out. Well, really, the cam should come out of there now. Because <laughs> that one broke. So. I don't see anywhere in the cam. Do you do? Let's see. Any scratches? The bearings are still good. Camshaft might have survived. Now we need to get this broken um, rocker out. And we'll do it the same way. Actually, you can take a flathead and screw it the west way. The way. West way. The rest of the way. Sorry. Dinner time. Mouth dry. Gotta take a small screwdriver.
There's our broken one right there. That's broken right off. So something happened. I don't know. The camshaft bearings are good. So something happened to make that break off unless it's got a stuck valve which I know the exhaust valve is already open it might have a stuck intake valve and it wouldn't open up and when it did come around what we could do is uh, take this valve out I almost bet you the uh, intake valve is stuck I don't know if I can push it down with anything the spring is pretty stiff I don't think I can use my valve spring compressor Unless I put a socket over it. completely dismantling yeah, that ain't gonna cut it it's really made for sealing the blocks I mean engine uh, <laughs> Engines sit on their heads like car engines. Mike. But we have no way to press in. I don't know if the sock can do it. I don't think this is going to work, folks. Nah.
don't think this is going to work. main thing is I can't we can just get that spring there it goes now I just need a magnet which I didn't bring Okay, we got it. <laughs> it's out. Didn't think it was going to work, but it worked. Oh, yeah. Intake valve is stuck. That's what broke that rocker. Yeah, look at the gum gum on it. That explains it all. It didn't bend it. It's got some pitting on it. Valve stems need to be Bounce them seals, I mean, needs to be changed. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that. So, this thing's gonna need rock arms, valve steel seals, valve stem seals, <laughs> and a whole top end ring, piston cylinders, gaskets. Um, rocker arm. Basically, if we can just find a head that's already together, I mean, we can always, but we can fix this head because you might get another head and, unless you tear it down and put new seals in it. Cause you don't want to use the seals that's in the used head and get might smoke. So this head really can be salvaged. I didn't think so at first. But I'll see what he wants to do. We'll try and get some parts for it. So, still, y'all just stay tuned on the little badger. Uh, we'll try and get something going on it if he wants to put some more money in it. I didn't know I was going to tear it down that far. Uh, timing chain was pretty tight, so I don't think we would have to replace the timing chain. The guys look good. Uh, like I say, the cylinder's toast. Uh, I bet you the rings are toast. So the bottom end, the ride bearing feels good. So we'll just see what he wants to do, and uh, we'll try and get some parts. So stay tuned. Well, quick update before I check out again. I uh, just spoke to the owner and he said let's get the parts and let's build this thing. So I went ahead and ordered new cylinder piston ring gasket set. I mean, you can pick this stuff up cheap. So we can toss that. Uh, we got new valves and valve stems coming. This thing is real pitted right here. That's why it was sticking and it's pitted there. So we got all that coming and we got the new intake rocker arm coming too. So all that stuff get here, we'll get it together and uh, hopefully we can get this thing running. And um, I think he said after we get it running and then he'll worry about putting tires on it and, and other stuff. So uh, let's get this show on the road.
Later.